the Nicole Mason Show, the show where we feature phenomenal women who are using their gifts, their talents, and their skills to impact the world. And today is no different. I'm so, so excited uh, about our guest today. Uh, this is the show where we inspire, where we motivate, and most importantly, where we inform our viewers. So I am so excited today to have with me uh, one of my dear sisters whom I have admired over the years as it relates to her work, uh, her parenting. Uh, she's just a bad sister. So I want to take this opportunity uh, to introduce to some and present to others Melinda Robertson. Melinda Robertson is an author, empowerment speaker, mother and grandmother. Her experience as a teen mother compelled her to write her first novel, Motherhood, What You Don't Know. In an attempt to combat the teen pregnancy issue that continues to plague communities nationwide. Since the release of Motherhood, What You Don't Know, in 2005, Ms. Robertson has become a highly sought after empowerment speaker who has conducted numerous teen workshops for local churches and libraries. Motherhood, What You Don't Know, has been featured in various newspapers and on two nationally syndicated radio shows, The Russ Parr Morning Show and the Wendy Williams experience in New York City, resulting in orders from as far away as Wisconsin, Georgia, Alabama, Indiana, Nebraska, Texas, and Kentucky. Ms. Robinson was the special guest speaker at the fifth annual Teen Talk Conference held in Wilson, North Carolina in May 2006. Ms. Robertson's second novel, Fatherhood, What You Ought to Know, huh, for Teen Boys, was released in April 2007. She believes properly educating boys about sex and the responsibilities they have to prevent unwanted pregnancies is essential to reducing the teen pregnancy rate. In her latest novel, Ms. Robinson addresses many issues boys all across the nation are growing up with today. Uh, for example, absent fathers, raging hormones, peer pressure, violence, death, etc. It's very real. In her latest novel, Mistaken Identity, released in December 2014, she ventures into new territory targeting a more mature audience. This fast-paced story takes you into the life of a modern-day single woman who plays by her own rules and ultimately changes the dating game. Morgan McIntyre is a 33-year-old, is 33 years old and living the single life. She is financially stable, has a successful career and travels the world, but it, but when it comes to matters of the heart, she hasn't been happy in years. Morgan, like many single women, is looking for love in all the wrong places and eventually gets, quote, caught up in the rapture of love with the different men in her life. Uh-oh. Ms. Robinson is the founder of the Calvin Woodland Foundation, a nonprofit organization in the District of Columbia, which sponsors annual events for underprivileged children in southeast Washington, where she grew up. She resides in Prince George's County, Maryland, with her family. Welcome to the Nicole Mason Show, Melinda Robinson. Woohoo! Hey, sister! How you doing? Okay, first, to take care of all the, the most important matter, how is mom? Mom is good. Thank you so much. She's doing really well, and I'm so thankful for the progress that she's made. And she's doing well. Good. Thanks for all the prayers. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I was so happy to see her at the release um, of your new book yes. at the uh, book signing. She uh, was just uh, so happy, and she was just, just so excited to be there. It's such a blessing to have her there. Yeah. So let's get into this new book. Oh, my goodness. Let me tell you something. Listen. This book, you're going to be sitting on the edge of your seat the whole time that you are reading it. And so I want, want you to share as much as you feel comfortable with. Don't mm -hmm. give away the plot. Right. Don't give away mm -hmm. all the juicy details. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But let's talk a little bit about the real life behind the scenes, um, you know, issues that 
led to uh, the motivation in writing uh, your most recent novel? Okay, um, just like most authors, it's a, everything we write about is is about us in some way, short, some way, form, or fashion. Mm -hmm. So this book for me was um, an opportunity for me to um, go into, go within, and talk about some things that I know a lot of single women can identify with. Mm -hmm. um, we're living in a different age today, and so many single women are the head of the households, and we are um, independent, but we make mistakes, and um, we have to own them. So it was so personal for me because I want to encourage women to own who they are. Um, as a single woman, we have, we make choices that, um, that are not really good choices and, mm -hmm. and um, unfortunately sometimes our children are affected by the choices that we've made and we may have children out of wedlock or whatever the situation may be and at the end of the day Nicole we're they're all God's children mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what I mean God makes no mistakes mm -hmm. and um, I want to encourage single women to accept who they are own their stories because we all have a story we mm -hmm. all have a story I want them to own it and um, I think it's important because for so many years women have been and especially single women mm -hmm. we are always um, judged and um, people are always um, have a tendency to beat us down 